Do you ever experience that uncomfortable feeling of numbness or tingling in your fingers? You are not alone. Today, we explain the two most common causes of nerve compression to help understand and preserve the sensation in your hand. Our hands are extraordinary tools that allow us to interact with the world around us. They are capable of remarkable tasks. From creating beautiful masterpiece to nurturing loved ones with a gentle touch. But what happens when we can no longer feel things with our hands or lose the strength and dexterity of our fingers? The numbness, tingling, or weakness in your hand is often the result of nerve compression. This occurs when nerve is under pressure, causing irritation to the nerve and delay its conduction of important signals. Depending on which part of your hand is numb, if it's on the thumb side of the hand, the nerve compression could be from pressure on the median nerve in the carpal tunnel at the wrist. On the other hand, if the numbness is over the pinky side of the hand, the pressure is on the ulnar nerve in cubital tunnel at the elbow. Sometimes both nerves can be involved with the entire hand feeling numb. Carpal tunnel gets worse when the wrist is bent, putting even more pressure on the median nerve, such as typing, driving, and lying on the wrist during sleep. In contrast, cubital tunnel gets worse with bending of the elbow, further stretching out the ulnar nerve, such as leaning on the desk, holding onto phone, or bending elbow during sleep. Over some time, the muscle in the hand can also be affected, limiting the strength of our hand. In carpal tunnel syndrome, the median nerve supplies the muscle of the thumb. This becomes weak and wasted, leading to a weak grip. In cubital tunnel syndrome, the ulnar nerve supplies the small muscles in the hand. These can make the hand clumsy and lose its dexterity. If you have these symptoms, here is something you can try before visiting the doctors. If your carpal tunnel is waking you up during sleep, try putting a wrist splint on to stop it from bending. During the day, try taking regular breaks from activities that keeps the wrist in a fixed position, such as typing and driving. Certain over-the-counter medications such as anti-inflammatories can also help reduce the shooting pain from nerve irritation. For cubital tunnel syndrome, try an elbow splint that keeps it straight to reduce pressure on the ulnar nerve. This can be particularly useful to reduce pain during sleep at night. Regular stretching of the elbow is also a great way to prevent symptoms. If your symptoms persist or your hands starting to feel weak, please consult a medical specialist early to stop further deterioration of the nerve function. To find out what the doctors can offer, please check out these videos for more details.